Hello everyone. Yesterday we discussed about the concept of entropy of the source. Today we will find the upper bound for entropy. For finding the upper bound for entropy, we need to be familiar with log inequality. Log inequality is given by ln x less than or equal to x minus 1. And ln x is basically logarithm to the base e or natural logarithm. And the relation between log 2x, we have log 2x divided by log 2e equal to ln x. This is the relation between log 2x and ln x. Now we will try to interpret this inequality graphically. So we have this is x and uh, so this is y. So we can say that y equal to we will first plot y equal to x minus 1. y equal to x minus 1 means y equal to 0 then x equal to 1. So y equal to 0 x equal to 1 and uh, x equal to 0 y equal to minus 1. This is minus 1. So this is this is the plot of y equal to x minus 1. Then y equal to ln x will be like this. So this is y equal to ln x. So here we can see that ln x is always less than or equal to x minus 1 and equality happens only at x equal to 1. So in order to evaluate the upper bound for entropy, we will again consider a source S of size M. Source or S of size M means the source is capable of emitting M unique symbols that is S equal to S1, S2, etc. SM and uh, the probability for emitting each symbol is given by P1, P2, etc. PM respectively. Consider the quantity log 2m minus h of s. We know that h of s is sigma i equal to 1 to m pi log 1 by pi. So log 2m minus h of s can be written as log 2m minus sigma i equal to 1 to m pi log 1 by pi. Again, we know that the total probability of all symbol that is sigma i equal to 1 to m pi equal to 1. So, this equation number 1 can be evaluated as, so this can be written as 1 into log 2m and that 1 can be replaced by sigma i equal to 1 to m pi equal to 1. So, this can be written as sigma i equal to 1 to m pi since this is 1. We know that this is 1. So, sigma i equal to 1 to m pi log 2m minus sigma i equal to 1 to m pi log 1 by pi. Okay, now we are going to convert. So, this is logarithm of base 2. Now, we are going to convert this logarithm to natural logarithm. So, for converting logarithm to natural logarithm, so if you divide... Uh, log 2x by log 2e you will get natural logarithm so this can be written as or uh, so again we know that log 2x equal to log 2e in the ln x right so i am replacing this uh, logarithm to base 2 to ln x so for that i will multiply by log 2e into sigma i equal to 1 to m ln okay sorry pi ln m minus sigma i equal to 1 to m pi ln 1 by pi so this can be written as log 2e into sigma i equal to 1 to m pi into ln m minus ln 1 by pi Okay, again this can be written as log 2e sigma i equal to 1 to m pi ln m pi. Let this equation be equation number 1. 
and uh, now we, we are going to applying our log inequality we know that log inequality is ln x less than or equal to x minus 1 right so if we multiply minus 1 on both side then we, we can rewrite this log inequality as ln of 1 by x greater than or equal to 1 minus x this is another form of log inequality now applying this log inequality to this uh, equation number 1 to the equation number 1 like this so I will write uh, equation number 1 now so we have our LHS as log 2m minus h of s equal to log 2e sigma i equal to 1 to m pi ln m pi right so now applying uh, this log inequality this is equation number 2 this is equation number 1 then this can be written as this is greater than or equal to log 2e sigma i equal to 1 to m pi ln 1 by x is greater than or equal to 1 minus x here, here x is let x is 1 by m pi so this can be written as greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by m p i. Okay, so this can be expanded as greater than or equal to log 2e uh, sigma i equal to 1 to m p i minus and the second term can be written as p1 by mp1 plus p2 by mp2 plus etc pm by pm by mpm so how many terms are there this will be there are so this cancel this will cancel this will cancel so there are m terms are there so this can be written as greater than or equal to log 2e sigma i equal to 1 to m pi. So we know that this is 1 minus m into 1 by m. That is greater than or equal to or we can write it as log 2m minus h of s greater than or equal to log 2e uh, sigma i equal to 1 to m pi that is 1, 1 minus 1. So greater than or equal to 0. Or we can say that h of s can be written as h of s less than or equal to log 2m. So we can say that the upper bound for entropy is log 2m. So we got it as h of s less than or equal to log 2m. Again in log inequality ln 1 by x greater than or equal to 1 minus x and the equality happens when x equal to 1 right. So we know that x is 1 by mpi so we already found that x equal to 1 by mpi so equality happens when equality when uh, 1 by mpi equal to 1 or pi equal to 1 by m that is symbols are equally likely in the last class, we already derived an expression for entropy of the source when the symbols are equally likely. When the symbols are equ equally likely, we know that h of s equal to log 2m. Now we, now we proved that this is the maximum value possible for the entropy. And this happens only when the symbols are equally likely. When symbols are equally likely, the probability of occurrence of a particular uh, symbol will be 1 by m. Everyone please practice this derivation and this derivation is highly required for deriving other results in the coming topics of information theory. Before winding up, please do a homework problem related to the topic information rate. Consider a telegraph source having two symbols dot and dash. The dot duration is 0.2 seconds and dash duration is three times that of dot duration. The probability of the dot occurring is twice that of dash and time between the symbols is 0.2 seconds. Calculate the information rate of the telegraph source. Thank you.